A lot of talk about all the great players that Yaya Toure played with down the years, be it Barcelona, Monaco, Olympiacos, Manchester City, Ivory Coast, lots of choices. Who's he gone for? Let's have a look then, Yaya, starting with your goalkeeper. Uh, Edison. This one, yeah. The most recent one. Yep. I think uh, with the hand and the leg, I think he's one of the best I've been playing with because Valdez was a little bit weak with his leg, but was average, to be honest. It was not bad because at that time, Barcelona, I think, and all the line was, uh, was uh, unbelievable. And I think you don't have to do much because to get it to the bottom of the goal, the goal with Barcelona, you need to work a lot. You know? So you've gone with the, the three at the back? Yeah. Three defenders. Yeah. I thought you might. I went with Piol and company. I thought you would have gone for Danny Alves. You I don't think many would have gone for Marquez. No, because Marquez, Rafa Marquez is one of the tough defenders. Mm. But people don't remind him because I think he didn't play in England. But if you want to remind him, maybe you go to YouTube, you check in Barcelona, Rafa Marquez, number four. He was, I think, uh, what, what a defender. I think uh, w 10 times better than Gerard Gér Gér Piqué. Almost similar, but Piquet was a little Ten bit Ten times better. Ten times wow. better, believe me. Because he's not watching. He's <laughs> so, so good. But people, people, have a, it's, people will decide it when they're going to see him playing in, in, in the YouTube. If they play to YouTube, they will see him. He's fantastic. I've been in love with him. And I learned from all these guys, football, you know. Sounds like you're in love with YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, who else have you got there as your, your back three, then? You've got... Yeah, company, company well. Marquez and uh, Carlos Puyol. Rafa mm. Marquez, Carlos Puyol. But well, can uh, I should have been going for Alves or Abidal? Did you feel under pressure to pick or company? Or Kai Walker? Did you feel under pressure? You had to pick company. No, company no, because company is a safe house. You know, when this is is <laughs> a tractor, he can he can demolish. But of course, if you don't pick him, he's gonna <laughs> smash me. But <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You said to us tonight that you didn't like playing holding midfield. So who's yeah. your holding midfield playing this team? Uh, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for Iniesta. Why? <laughs> Iniesta. Because he's the, I think he's the only midfielder we have it that because the team I have set up is a team. What midfield player? Yeah. yeah, it's going forward because I love to I enjoy going forward, you know. But yeah. in the so sense, your like, team. yeah, in the sense like they are, we have to have a you have to have a you know the doubt because once you keep the team outside and your you know outside your half of a field. Better is for because the guy, the team have to have to score. You have to pass the line to come to score. Was, the was, idea he, was any yesterday the most difficult player in training so, to get the ball off? People you play get the ball off. Yeah. But I think with company and Marquez and Puyol with Ederson, it's good enough to wear the control. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've got with the one holding player. I'm looking forward to seeing these attacking player. I think it's yeah. going to be some team. So, um, well, you've got two players either side of yeah. Iniesta. Yeah, Messi and Aguero. <laughs> 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 Why Aguero? Because I shouldn't put. I can't can put it at Silva. I can't put it at Sami. We need to see this. You know, Let's Sami, uh, Silva. Even um, even I can go for Fernandinho or Busquets, for example. But those three players alone to get the ball from them is gonna be, is gonna be like a, a enigma. You know, you have to suffer to get the ball back to their legs, and they're so good. And these players are so clever. And Aguero can mix it up with. He can spin. Can change it. Strike on midfield, he can do all. Can we saw you wide players as well. We've heard a lot about Leroy Sané tonight, yeah. but, but why Thierry? Who I suppose you played with towards the back end of his career. Yeah, yeah, because Thierry, I think when Thierry was, first of all, when Thierry was uh, at Arsenal, uh, I think he was one of the best strikers in the world. Barcelona, of course, at that time was Ronaldinho, Samuel Otomisi, <coughs> uh, Deco, Giovanni, he was such a great striker. And, Sometimes to go through that, you have to accept it because Henri was Henri in England, but in Spain, it was normal because in there was Ronaldinho, Messi, Eto, Iniesta, and uh, you know, such a big name of, uh, of football. They was appreciating me a lot in, England, uh, in Spain, but you have to go through. And I think the year oh, I really, really enjoyed here Henri was 2009, where we were in the Champions League, we win six trophies in the world. I think at that time, I think he was one of the best. Those three in the front, Samuel Otto, Messi. So, yeah, yeah, you've actually, before we even get to your front two, you've already got three strikers on the pitch. I can't wait to get your front two. Did you tell us that you're going to be a manager? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, to be honest, to be honest, I have this passion of reading, looking, and try to make things, to switch, you know, to just change tactics. 
If, if, I think really you, I if, you, if you were if you were a manager, yeah. would you go with, with what we're looking at now, or is, is this just getting the players in, or would you actually think I want to play all the attacking players in a team? Uh, if I was manager, I was hundred percent. I would go for that. Why? Because for me, the point is is not going for what, but keeping my opponent far from my goals. You know, and have the guys who are focused and can control the, the games, because. Now, football is about team. Football is about, is about team. The team has to manage to get itself to not get line, you know, because sometimes when you see team playing against opponent, you see the line, you see mm. the gap between lines. And I would love to see you as a manager playing this football. I, I can't try. wait. I can't wait. I'm <laughs> desperate for you to get the job. <laughs> you think Aussie our dealers look like Big Sam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two strikers. Let's have a look at your two strikers then. Yeah, I'll pick up, uh, yeah, I'll go for Drogba and Eto. Of course, Sane was in the third one and Tirena was the side. I think why Drogba and Eto? Because Eto, I played with him in uh, Barcelona. I think what, what, what a striker. It was unbelievable. And Drogba, national team, I played against him as well. Those two are enigma. They are very, very difficult to be marked. Samuel Eto is, was clever, smart. Uh, smooth in his movement and he, he always sharp and drew by his, yeah, any cross, any ball is coming from behind, from the back, from his uh, boot on his, uh, boot on his leg, he can score any goal in any time. It was, it was brilliant. Do you feel like anybody is, you know, <coughs> feel guilty about leaving anybody out of that team? Oh, Who, who's yeah. going on the bench? Who are the closest to it? Uh, Silva, Kyle Walker, uh, Rhyme. You know, those players have been brilliant. Alves as well, Sami Nasri. You know, you know this, me, I love to, to have a clever player and smart player with, with this quality, you know. And, uh, and that's what I inspire all the time. Even as a player, when I play, I always want to strain the ball with my teammates, just to feel the ball, you know. That's make the opponent, you know, feel like the, the suffering they get the ball. And that's, that's what about football for me, you know. I just enjoy, make the fans enjoy. And on the end, finish, finish by four or five goals. That's what I like. <laughs> brilliant, too. Brilliant, too. I'm, I'm guessing that nobody out there managed to predict your, your ultimate 11. But fantastic. I hope, I hope you get a job and, and you make it work. Yeah, but you're not finished, as you told us, you're not yeah, finished yet as different. a player. Without wishing to put you on the spot, we've had a lot of questions tonight about your immediate <laughs> future. And I'm yeah. going to put you on the spot because yeah. this, this is, is summing up what we're getting in. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. you signing for Celtic. Is that Colo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's Colo. Of course, Colo, Colo is, is there already. Him. Yeah, I think uh, Celtic is a great team. It's a great team. But let me so, spoke with uh, Brendan then. We will see. Maybe Colo is arranging something for me on the, on the back. But let's see. We will see. What, I, league, what, what league would you like to... If you, would, you, would you like to come back to the Premier League? To be honest, I've been playing Premier League and it's a league where, for me, I'd be the most enjoyable, you know. But we never know. Maybe I can end up in South, in, in, in Scotland, or maybe in England, or maybe in, the, in France, anywhere. But I want choice to enjoy with maybe one more years, one more enough, in the high level. And after that, I will decide where I will go, just I, to I, enjoy it. And then I think you need to else. go to Celtic. <laughs> just, I mean, if, for, as much as for anything, for the song. I mean, <laughs> 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 There's much in my head. And it, <laughs> They make me lose all my head. Just... And what it does tell us is the incredible popularity that you have yeah. amongst your teammates. <laughs> this is Liverpool. This is Look at this. When did you first hear this song? Uh, I think I was at home, and I think a brother, a friend sent it to me. He said, Look at the Liverpool. They are this, the is the this is the dance. A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, everybody around, well, certainly Europe, knows this song. I was in a bar in Austria at the weekend. Yeah. They've turned it into a techno song. Yeah? <laughs> did, you know, did you know that? <laughs> no, I never, yeah, but the one who shocked me the most, it was in uh, Madrid. We, we were playing against Madrid, and the fans was in the bar closing in the street. After the block, the police have to come in. That was, was, was unbelievable, unbelievable. So, generally, we might see you one day as a manager. Is that a genuine possibility? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Why not? Because I love it, football. I've been love because sometimes, you know, I, you know, sometimes I know my, my little son, sometimes my brother, so sometimes they hate me for that because they, my kids have been watching movie or, or, you know, something else. I just come and switch off the TV and look at football or switch on 
change the channel to watch football. I love it because it's been my passion for all my almost all my my life now, and uh, uh, and I want to continue to carry on. You know, I want to give it back. I want to, to I want to see myself and the, and the real action how to because when I was football, I can I've been able to control myself, but. As a manager, control maybe how many 25 person or 30 people. People, we will see what I was gonna go. Well, that passion has certainly come through tonight, Yaya. We've yeah. we've really enjoyed your company tonight. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with us. And um, Thank you. Thank Celtic you. fans, he didn't say no, did he? <laughs> <laughs>